Stella, can we request you to say a few words and introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm Stella Schmidt, and uh, I'm a human rights activist, active mainly with people who have not yet got the right of independence and who are still struggling worldwide for their right and for their dignity in relation as a people. And these people are, of course, the Baluch, these people are the Kurds, these people are the Tamils, these people are the Kashmiri, and many, many people in Africa. It is a long and arduous struggle. Now, I think on the world scale, though, the situation today is that we have a good situation to actually raise the profile of these struggles. And it is unfortunately to the shame of this government that these issues like the Baluch are either thrown under the carpet or consistently even in interest together with their interests, strategic interests in Pakistan criminalized those forces who are actually contribute to the true liberation of the whole region. And we have to say that the UK government is, of course, collaborating here with the Pakistani, the previous government, and of course with this government, to suppress the Baluch people. You all know about the case of our two uh, friends who were in exchange, you know, for somebody they wanted to get from Pakistan to criminalize here and to break in the courts. Fortunately, of course, we were able with, uh, you know, the civil rights lawyers and people who still stand up in Britain for civil and democratic rights to defeat this and to expose this. But this is not enough. This is not enough. Because since then, of course, there was hardly any forces in the parliament or hardly any forces in the different political parties who have taken this issue up. And I think that is where maybe our modest contribution to your struggle uh, can come in, that we can continue to raise the issue of the proscriptions and the list of those who are here on the anti-terrorism list. This has to be known and it has to be fought. And one of my initiatives, one of the campaigns I've been involved with is <coughs> the campaign against criminalizing communities that was set up 10 years ago. And in fact, although it is today defending individuals on very many different fronts, it was set up when in 2000 this government produced a, the first official anti-terrorism act in Britain and put 19 organizations on the list. And it was then that the communities here in Britain all came together in Parliament and demanded we do not want to be on the list, we don't know. We are legitimate movements. We struggle for our defense, for our rights. And it was then that we started campaign, CAMPA, Campaign Against Criminalizing Communities. And it was that campaign that took up the struggle in defense of Mr. Murray and uh, Face Baloch. So I'm really saying we haven't moved too far. We need your support in that as well. We need you to raise this with your MPs in your place of work, wherever you are, because it gives us a legitimate right here to say, you know, here's a leader and representatives of the Baluch people who are defending the people's rights, and you are putting them in prison, you should be supporting them. 
and you should take also the Baluch Liberation Front off your list tomorrow. And there shouldn't be any terrorism list. The reason is, there is really the only solution to the problem is to look at the struggles, to look at why people are defending themselves. And that is why it leads to the struggle for your rights as a defense organization, because who is creating the violence? It is actually the terrorism of the states, mm. the terrorism of Pakistan, the terrorism of this government <laughs> that creates the situation. So I appeal to you to take this situation in Britain seriously, because it gives us a certain strength to know that you are behind this campaign, because we have to continue to raise the organization on the list to say the Baluch Liberation Army should be off the list. I don't know if all of you agree or not, but the friend is, it is a principle. It is a principle here. I'm not for terrorism, nor is I'm sure you are, as you very well said. We want justice. Justice. I mean, the Baluch people want justice. And that is what is it all about, isn't it? Yeah, of course. All right. Yeah. And I salute your leader, who is obviously uh, an inspiration for the Baluch people, and will be an inspiration for all the people still struggling worldwide. Thank you.